Now, on Sunday, the new Idols winner was announced, and it's a 29-year-old police officer. He now has a record de deal and a million rand prize. I'm joined by Idols winner warrant officer Tapelo Molomo. Tapelo, congratulations. This is amazing news. Are you going to be giving up your day job? Am I going to be what? Are you giving up your day job? No, no, I'm not. I'm still <laughs> continuing with SAP. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that you're a trained psychologist. Tell us about your job in the police. Uh, so what I do at the SAPS, I'm a registered trauma counsellor there. Um, what I do is that I offer trauma counselling to the police officials. And um, because they go through a lot of trauma, so that's what we do. We just offer trauma counselling to them, make sure that they're emotionally contained because they deal with both personal and uh, work-related issues as well. So we just come in as registered trauma counsellors just to help them cope with the pressure that they're dealing with at the workplace. They go through a lot of trauma in terms of shooting and all of those things. Yeah, I mean, it's such an intense job that you have. Um, does singing help That's you it. get rid of the stress and the burden of, of people's difficult stories? Yeah, it's also therapeutic to me. You know, music is some, something that I do when I just need to just relax. Uh, but more than anything, it's my gift, it's my passion. It's something that I grew up doing, which is singing, yeah. You're from Pretoria. Talk to me about when you first realized how much you love music and singing. Okay, I'm originally from Limpopo. Pretoria is because of work. I work at uh, Brett's police station. Um, the first time I realized that I can actually sing is when I joined a group called Spirit of Praise Choir, led by Pastor Benjamin Duby. That's when I've actually discovered that I can actually sing because all this while, I don't really have much confidence with singing. I just thought it's something just to do when I'm free and having fun. But I started taking it very seriously when I joined that choir. Ah, oh, wonderful. And what made you decide to enter Idols? Um, the readiness. I had to prepare myself. I've been following Idols for so many years. And I've realized, I've realized how intense the competition is with regards to, you know, the critics that... Uh, contestants would get it can break you it can build you depending on how you cope so I had to prepare myself emotionally so that I can just have that emotional intelligence to handle all the pressure that comes with idols and understand that is the platform for me to kickstart my music career so that was the way I've made that choice this year that you know what I think I'm very ready to climb that big stage well I, I think it's incredible I want to play a clip of the police minister, Becky Trele, uh, congratulating you. And I'm sure he's delighted that you're staying with the police. Let's take a quick listen to that clip. What made you think you can do it? Uh, the gifts. I knew okay. I had a gift and I was like, ish, I don't want to die until I fulfill it. Okay. Still, but let me just go. And then I took that step. Yeah. <laughs> and right. I believe it was because of it, the time, the season. All along, I didn't feel the season was right up until now. Well, congratulations. Uh, it was a good step. It was a good first step. As uh, Mahmoud Zetung would always say, my thousand miles start yes. with the first step. Indeed. Mm. First step. Thank okay. Thank you so much. So, William Sevizina. William Sevizina. He fell in the path. 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 Yes, he fell in the path. No, congratulations. Yep. It was a good step. And uh, I, I saw quite uh, many of your colleagues in yes, the crowd because, yes, of, because yes, of support. Yes. When you see boys, always you think heart, tears, yeah, blood, yes, and all that. So yes. we have put us on a soft, yeah, soft walk, us, yeah, yes. and uh, entertain so many South Africans. Yeah. I wonder if they knew if you had a cop. No, they. I, th I think they knew because they kept on speaking oh, okay. about it on the show. Oh, okay. Because, okay. Yeah, they okay. kept on okay. saying warrant okay. officer, warrant officer. Okay. okay. Deals. Are we around of it? Yes. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Maybe just a constant. Ah, that's fine, that's fine, you're right. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. No, that's fine. That's congratulations again. Thank you so much. <laughs> Had you ever met uh, Police Minister Becky Trele before that time? Honestly, no. It was my first time meeting him. I've never met uh, Minister Begi Trele before. So hence for me, it was like, wow, it was it was a two win in a night, you know, meeting your, 
senior, senior, senior boss, and <laughs> all most of us seen very far on TV. So that was a win. That was another win for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not giving up your your job as a as a psychologist and a trauma counsellor in the police, which I'm sure the police are delighted about. They do need more good people who can help keep uh, the police together. But you do have this uh, record deal and I think a million rand in prize money. What are you going to do with it all? Um, like to answer the first question, I'll continue with my job as a therapist at the SAPS. Like you said, there's a huge need that is needed. Now with the record deal as well, the record deal doesn't really bind me when it comes to my work. It's, that is personal. They don't have issues with that. And um, what I'm planning to do is that I'll continue dropping a lot of music uh, making sure that I'm always here on ENCA time to time <laughs> to make sure that people know about the music. <laughs> and then also with a, new, with a million rent, definitely it has to be invested the right way to replicate itself so that I don't end up now, you know, um, using money recklessly. So, you know, because I've realized that a lot of artists or rather based on my observation, uh, we fail to manage our finances so well. And after a, a peak season, you see now somebody being broke and all of that. So I've planned to actually use my money the right way and make sure that it replicates itself. So I'll speak to the Standard Bank um, financial advisor to take me through that process. Well, that's marvelous. It sounds like you've got a really solid plan ahead of you. Uh, and congratulations once more, at Tapelo. Absolutely wonderful news uh, with this win. That, of course, was Tapelo Molomo, who is this year's Idols winner. He's also a warrant officer in the police force, and he's keeping his job.